Hello Libra, this is your August 2022 love guidance. We'll be looking into your energy for the month of August and this is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising signs. We're going to do it a little differently this month. We're going to take a look at your energy and compare it to your person's energy. We'll get some extra cards for both energies and do some Oracle guidance towards the end of your reading. So we will go ahead and start by getting three cards for you. So three cards for Libra and three cards for their person. So three cards for Libra. So we've got the Ace of Wands for Libra. And we've got the Hierophant. of swords in reverse now for your person we've got the magician in reverse we've got the fool and we've got the empress okay libra this seems to be the energy for you and your person at the bottom of the deck we do have the king of wands okay Let's start with the Ace of Wands. It's just that you are wanting to explore, wanting to try. What's this new beginning that you want to have? Could be creative. Okay, Libra. Um, wow, with the Ace of Wands. Wow, so I feel like you are motivated. You are desiring a new beginning, a new passionate beginning. I feel though you feel blocked from it. Whatever it is you're, that you're feeling or desiring, you feel blocked from it. Um, I feel like maybe there are obligations and responsibilities that are holding you back. Maybe judgment from other people. There's something that you need to realize here. Um, Libra this blockage this holding back you know why do you think that's happening because it's like it's saying it's open to you it's available to you so why do you feel the blockage um, let's see the Hierophant Hierophant um, the Hierophant I think, so Libra, whatever this is that you're desiring, I feel like at times you want to give up on it. You know, you go back and forth on whether it's still worth pursuing. Do you give up on it? And time is passing by is what I'm getting. But I think, I want to get one more card. Yeah, you still, you want to work on it. Like you're still trying to work on it. Um, maybe you are um, confined to a certain belief, um, confined to certain standards. And you're, you're trying to, I don't know, like you want to open yourself up more to this. I feel a really big blockage to this. And I feel like it has a lot to do with um, other people, their judgment, expectations of other people could be that. You're really trying to work on it. You're just going back and forth. Um, Ace of Swords in reverse. You haven't made a decision about some someone here, I think. Um, so I think you feel that somebody is expecting a decision, maybe communication, but there's some kind of expectation here um, from you. And, no, I'm sorry, there's an expectation from your person, from you, that, if that makes sense. Like, your person is expecting something from you. And that full card, we've got that right here. I think your person is wanting you to decide on a new beginning with them. And your person wants you to, you know, decide, do you want to have this new beginning with me? 
what do you want to do? It feels like that's what it is. And I feel that you feel the pressure and that's, and your, your energy is kind of skitterish. skitterish. Um, it's like, it's like, you know, <laughs> it feels like all over the place because of a subtle panic that you're, you're experiencing. I don't know. It feels very scattered. Um, let's see what the magician in reverse is about for your person. Why do they have the magician in reverse? They, okay, so they do have something they want to happen, but they're feeling a lot of resistance with it. Um, the thing is, your person is still holding on to the idea of happiness with you. And it's just that they're asking you, do you want to join me on this journey? Yeah, and there's that magician. They want to go in a new direction. They want to start the journey with or without you. It feels like, are you joining me? Um, and it feels like, you know, yeah, it really feels like I want to begin a new journey. I want you by my side. Will you join me? And if you don't join them, um, Libra, they are still going to go on this journey. With or without you, they are. Um, they're still going to go for it, going to explore it. Let's see what the Empress is about. Yeah, because right now, she, yeah, your person is in an Empress energy. I mean, look at the way that this Empress is standing in her power, knowing what she wants, going to move forward, leading the pack type energy. And with the Six of Wands, it's just telling me your person out for success. They want to succeed in life. And they need a partner that's going to succeed with them. And that's why your person is asking you. Whether that's in the 3D or 5D, your person is asking you, are you joining me on this journey? Or are we ending this? Because your person, it's like their energy is, I need to move forward. And are you coming with me? Okay, but either way, your person is moving forward. Okay, so let's see. Extra energies for you and your person. Let's see what the extra energies are. Okay, for you, Gemini, you are in some kind of codependent... Um, situation there may be some obsession possession emotional block is highly likely whatever here applies to you um libra at this time i feel like emotional block is possible here um <clears throat> so you are the chaser right now there is a fear of abandonment on your part i do feel like you're wanting to go with your person um and you have love you have a lot of love for your person let's see what um your person's energy is yeah they want to go out you know they want to get back out there i mean i don't know about that it's like they're waiting for you but it is they do have a certain energy of if you're not going to come with me i'm going to move forward and you not going with them gives this person an opportunity to go meet someone new okay um let's get more well, it is saying that I don't necessarily think there's any kind of marrying going on here. I do feel, though, that um, there is maybe some self-reflection, introspection. There's something here going on where both of you have your own wounds to deal with, um, but you're handling it in different ways. So it's not exactly mirroring from what I'm seeing. Yeah, so your person, there may be a sudden change, shocking news, a transformation, Definitely, your person is coming into their power and they are going to move forward with or without you, Libra. So somebody has options here. Um, this connection could be unconventional, but definitely I feel like options are opening up for someone. Oh, let's do the tarot card guidance. I almost forgot. Okay, we've got a king of wands here and we've got the four of swords. So I do feel... That someone here wants to come out of the separation. And they are determined. They do want to come out of it. They want to stop being silent, you know? There needs to be like an overhaul on this connection. I think that's why your person is asking you if you want to join them. Because their intention is to go in a new direction, you know, like clean slate, new direction. But I don't know, somebody is holding back on their emotions here. I kind of feel like that's you, Libra. Could be vice versa, though. So much in their head. Yeah, look at that. King and Queen of Cups. So much in their head about this, you know, potential commitment, possible um, love here. 
and you know the thing about it is um and i feel like libra is your person they they want something in their life and they're pretty determined to get it and it's like they will walk away from this connection if 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 they feel like you know this connection will, will impede them from from gaining whatever it is that they want whatever that full energy is okay I mean, I kind of see someone here not taking action towards the fulfillment that they know, they know is possible. It's like they're not taking action towards it. I don't know. It, it, at this point in time, it feels like even though this connection is strong, there's somebody here that's just willing to turn their back on it if it's not going to give them the stability they need. And, you know, a choice has to be made here. Definitely. Are you going to give to this connection or not? You know, it, it's what it is here. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I would say it's worth a try, but if it's not going to be wholehearted, it's not going to be the right decision to do this anyway. So let's say your person is asking you to join them on this new journey, but you are not wholeheartedly sure, you know, like there's a part of you that feels like I can't or I won't, then it's not going to work either, you know, anyway, if you decide to join your person. Um, this needs to be something that you're willing to give to and that you feel is the right path for you and there's that judgment i somebody needs to decide here is this connection still worth pursuing it feels like it has the elements for it to work but then everything around it is tearing it down and so it's like why bother <laughs> it's like why bother why even try i mean I don't know. I don't know what it is. I mean, I think there's a lot of doubt, a lot of being unsure, a lot of easily being able to give this up. There's just, it doesn't feel, yeah, look at that. The two cups is in reverse, the ace of swords. In, it feels like it's not meant to be. It feels like it's going to be forced even if to if the if you and your person try Libra, it 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 looks like it's gonna be a forced connection, and it's kind of saying maybe it's just a cycle that needs to complete. Maybe this isn't um, the connection where you do give your heart. So I don't know. I am you're gonna have to decide, Libra. You're gonna have to make the decision if this is still something that you see for yourself in your future. I'm just seeing a lot of difficulty with this and I see somebody easily walking away from this connection so that that seems to be the the energy there let's see what the oracle guidance is what do the angels have to say exactly this these two people you Libra and your person you need to have a heart to heart conversation it, it, it's not going to work. It is worth waiting for. Um, and maybe, I don't know, who the, free yourself. The energy in this reading is also very muddled. Um, I'm not getting anything like concrete here. Let go of control issues. So with everything that's come out, I feel like, yes, this love is, there is love here. And it's like, it's worth it. Like I said, it feels like there's a, a connection here, but everything around it is like it's tearing it down. So maybe what needs to happen for now is to be free from each other for now, okay? You know, let things happen. Divine timing may have a hand here. And if given a chance, though, I think the best thing for this connection is to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, there is somebody here needing to let go of control issues. Now, whether that's you, Libra, or your person, 
I'm going to let you guys decide. But that seems to be the energy. Hopefully in September we'll have a more concrete, um, solid energy here. This it feels very, I don't know, very unbalanced and very unsure. But yeah, hopefully that helped. 